Hi everyone, welcome to the second video in the series Game Development with Pygame. Please make sure that you've done lesson one already, because in that lesson we explained the basics of Pygame, how it works, and we built a template for Pygame, a skeleton of the code that we're going to need in every Pygame project we do. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about sprites, which are how you make objects that move around the screen. OK, to begin with, I have my Pygame template, which we made in lesson one. And if you remember that all it does when we run it is create a nice blank black window that does nothing, but we can close it. And that's all there is to it. So for this lesson, we want to talk about sprites. And a sprite is a computer graphics term for just an object on the screen that can move around. That's all that really means. If you played Mario, everything you see on the screen is a sprite. Mario is a sprite. The coins are sprites. The mushrooms are sprites, so on. The sprites are super useful in gaming because you often want to have a lot of different objects moving around on the screen. And Pygame has a lot of tools built into it that makes it very easy to work with sprites. Now, before we start making a sprite, let's talk real quick about the update and draw portions of our game loop. Now, the update section is where we're going to tell each sprite or figure out what each sprite needs to do. Does it need to move? Does it need to animate? What needs to change about it? And then, obviously, in the draw section, we need to tell the program to draw that sprite onto the screen. You can imagine if you start having a whole lot of sprites on the screen, that can start to get kind of messy. Your update section is going to be really long with drawing every sprite, and your draw section is going to be really long with drawing every sprite. So to solve that problem, Pygame has something called a sprite group. And a group is just a collection of sprites. So if you have a group, it can make your update and draw section a lot easier. So let's go ahead and make a group. So before the game loop starts, we're going to make a group called All Sprites. And it's just going to be a sprite group. OK? And so this command creates a new group that's empty, and we'll name it all sprites, because we're going to put every sprite we make into that group. And the reason is that we can now come down here to our update, and all our update has to say is all sprites dot update. And then whatever each sprite's rules are for how it updates, each sprite will update like it's supposed to. And then in our draw section, we can also say all sprites.draw. And then the draw command just needs you to tell it what place to draw it. And we only have one place, the screen. So now it will draw every sprite that's in the sprite group. So now as we make sprites, as long as we make sure to put them into the group, and I'll show you how to do that, then we won't have to add anything to our update or our draw section. It'll automatically happen. And that makes life a lot easier. OK, now I don't want to add any more code to my template here because, again, we want to use this as the skeleton and the, as the beginning for any new Pygame projects we do. So I want it to stay like this so that when I start working on game number two or game number three, I can come in here and I can, um, and I can just use this as a starting point. So I'm going to make a new. So I'm going to make a new file, and I'm just going to take all of this and copy and paste it into there. Okay, and I'm going to save this, and I'm just going to call it Sprite Example. Okay, because that's what we're going to do right now is figure out how to make sprites work. Okay, so let's start creating a sprite. A sprite is going to be an object. We use class, and then we can name it. So let's just name this uh, the player, because eventually this will be the player of the game. Um, and it is a Pygame sprite object. So Pygame already has a sprite, a basic sprite framework set up. So we're going to make player be a 
sprite. So this will be the sprite for the player. Okay. Now, just like when we did objects before, um, the first thing you need in your ob in your object is your init function, right? Which is the the code that will get run whenever a new object of this type gets made. So whenever we start and create the player object, uh, what code do we want to have happen? Well, there's a few things that we're going to put in here, but the first one is that's important is you have to do this, is you have to, for Pygame, run the init of its sprite. And this is kind of an ugly command, uh, but it's required. If you don't include this line, the sprite won't function properly. Uh, but then we can start talking about what we need. Now, every sprite can have all sorts of different properties for whatever you want, depending on what you want it to do. But there are a couple that are required. Every sprite has to have an Im a self.image that's going to be what the sprite looks like. And everyone has to have a self.rect. And that rect is the rectangle that encloses the sprite. And that's going to be really useful for moving the sprite around, figuring out where it is on the screen, and seeing if that sprite ran into anything else. So we'll talk about that in a second. Let's start with the image. So the image of this sprite, uh, in this case, we're just going to make it be a green rectangle okay, to start with. So we're just going to make a pygame.surface. That's a thing that you can draw on in Pygame. Um, and it's just going to be, let's say, 50 pixels by 50 pixels. Okay, And then I'm going to say self.image.fill green. And remember, I have green defined up here in my color. So I just want to fill that whole surface with just some green. So we have a green block. Now let's talk about the rect property of the sprite. Rect stands for rectangle. And every object on the screen has a rectangle around it that helps the computer keep track of where it is, how big it is, and so on. For example, these sprites have rectangles around them. They define how wide and how tall the sprite object is, and also allow you to tell where it is or where you want it to be. For example, if we had our player sprite and it had a rectangle around it, in Pygame you have all these different locations on the rect for how you can specify where you want the rectangle to be. For example, if we wanted our player to stand on the ground, we have some coordinate for where the ground is. We could say put the Y of the sprite at the ground minus 50, because our sprite is 50 pixels tall. But it's even easier in Pygame because you have that bottom handle, and you could say put the bottom of the rectangle at the ground level, and our player would be standing on the ground. So rects are really useful in Pygame, and you'll see as we start using them how useful they are. And creating one is actually really easy too. We just want to take the image and run the git rect command on it. And it just looks at that image, figures out what the rectangle needs to be. And then we could tell Let's have the player start in the center of the screen. Okay, so let's set the self dot rect dot center. Remember, center was the one of those handles I showed you in that picture. Let's set the center of the rectangle to width over two, oops, and height over two, and that will put it at the center. Okay, so. For now, we're done with the basic properties of our player sprite. So now we want to get it to show up on the screen, right? Because we've decide, defined this class player, but we haven't actually created one of these objects. So let's go down here before our game loop, and let's make a player object appear. And remember what I said about adding it to the group, right? So we want to take that all sprites group, and we want to add the player. And if we do that, we will be good because the player will get updated, which doesn't do anything yet, and the player will get drawn, which means we can see it. So let's run our program and see what happens. There we go. I have a green block in the center of my 
window. Now our window is kind of small, and since the next step is we want to make the player start moving around, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to change this to a nice big size so that I have a large window to appear in. And if I run that, now I've got a nice big window for my little green square to move around in. Okay, let's finish up this lesson by learning how to make those sprites move around the screen. So remember down in our update section, we're telling all the sprites to do whatever their update rule is. So all we need to do is on our player sprite, add an update. So let's call this update. And all we're going to tell this sprite to do is move the x plus 5. So every time the game loop repeats and does the update section, the rectangle will move 5 pixels to the right. And that's all we have to do. Now let's just make sure we don't have it run off the screen because that's kind of annoying. And they'll, that'll show you how we use those different handles on the rectangle. So if the rectangle's left side is greater than the width, meaning it's gone off the side, then we're going to change the rect's right to be equal to zero. And that'll make it look like it goes off the screen and comes back on. All right, so we'll stop there. And in the next lesson, we'll talk about some more things we can do with sprites.